Welcome back. Today we're building the two giant ramps with a toy hauler so I can load this side by side on the back of this. I'm building it out of 50 by 50 3 mil RHS aluminium and 50 by 50 3 mil angle with the the corner bed facing up so it's going to be the tread so they're going to be like sort of on a diamond diagonal sort of thing as you go up. The first job is to cut out all the angle iron bits that are going to go between the middle because there's 50 of those and I'm doing them at 300 wide which is slightly wider than the rear tyre so should fit pretty nicely. I've sort of redneck rigged up a rip stop here so set that up at 300 mil. I'm going to do a test cut first and then just knock out all 50 of these. Using this uh, saw I've been using for ages now, it's really really good. Evolution multi-material compound saw. Got that one from Total Tools about four to five hundred bucks. Cuts all sorts of materials, so pretty mint. Pretty good. Right on the money. So I need to figure out the angle that the ramps touch the ground at back from the toy hauler. So the deck, the deck is 1,020 high. And I know that's gonna be 90 degrees and I know, I don't know that length, but this is gonna be three meters. Luckily there's calculators online to do this stuff now. It's 20 degrees, that's 70 degrees. Smashed out a big day yesterday, got the first ramp pretty much done except for the end rung because I still don't know how it's going to mount on the back of the trailer yet but I'll figure that out. 
about a hundred two inch TIG welds. Anyway, I'm going to repeat that all again today to do the other ramp. Already made a start on it last night. So there's a whole lot more welding, so uh, it's pretty early. I think it's straight up 7 o'clock, straight into it. Let's get it done. One eternity later. The ramps are all finished, got the ends mitered off at a 20 degree angle, which matches the angle that they come up from the ground. And welded some 50 by 53 mil angle to the top. That joins them onto the back of the trailer. The only issue is I didn't know how strong they were going to be and they're fairly strong but they do deflect a little bit. So for science purposes I'm the better part of 100 kilos. Have a look at this. The buggy's about 660 kilos, so you'd expect 300 or more is going to be on the ramp at a time, so that's three times that weight. It might make it, I don't know, but I'm not comfortable with it, so... I've got this little length of 38mm uh, by 6mm flat bar, and I'm going to weld that perpendicular like a T-shape on the back of the ramps for about 2 metres of that section, and that's going to provide a bit of a strong back on the back. I thought this was going to happen. After lots and lots of welding, the ramps are finally done. Went with 10 mil bolts through here as locators and then drilled holes in the back of the deck at the exact wheel track of the buggy now. And that also gives me space in the future where I could have different holes for different width buggies. So I thought that worked pretty well. But now it's time to jump on the side by side and the moment of truth, drive this thing up the ramps and see if they fold enough. Wish me luck. Okay, let's go. terrifying and climatic at the same time. Oh, it's been a long time to get to this point. Do need a ladder to get down though. So happy that worked. There's like barely any deflection in the ramp, so that'll do. Having them as aluminium instead of steel is just such a big advantage. Mainly weight, corrosion, everything else. At the moment I think I'll just sit the ramps up underneath the side by side and maybe strap them down under there until I figure out somewhere permanent to put them. Because next episode, we're finally going to jump onto the canopy fit out. I know a lot of people have been waiting for that. Hit me up in the comments when's the canopy work coming. Well, next episode. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe, like. If you like this video, you'll probably like my review of the side by side. I might put that up here somewhere. And if you're new to the channel, maybe go back to the start of the toy hauler build or put the playlist down here. Anyway, that's it for this week. See you in the next one.